Hello budding tinkerers and innovators. Welcome to another video in the ATL Lab equipment video series. In this video, we will learn all about gas sensors and understand how they can be used to tinker and build interesting projects in the ATL. We will specifically look at the MQ series of gas sensors that are widely used in DIY projects. In fact, there are several gas sensors in the MQ series like the ones shown here. For example, the MQ2 sensor can detect methane, butane, LPG, and smoke, while the MQ3 sensor can detect alcohol, ethanol, and smoke. The MQ4 sensor is designed to detect methane and compressed natural gas, while the MQ5 can detect natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas. The MQ6 sensor can detect LPG and butane gas. Why the MQ7 sensor can detect carbon monoxide and MQ8 sensor can detect hydrogen gas. The MQ9 sensor has the ability to detect not only carbon monoxide but also flammable gases. The MQ series includes additional sensors that can detect many other gases as well. For example, the MQ131 sensor can detect ozone gas, chlorine and nitrogen dioxide. While MQ135 sensor can detect carbon monoxide, ammonia, benzene, alcohol and smoke, allowing you to measure the air quality. Likewise, MQ136 sensor can detect hydrogen sulfide gas, while MQ137 sensor can detect ammonia. Lastly, the MQ138 sensor is capable of detecting several gases such as benzene, toluene, acetone, propane, formaldehyde and hydrogen. Depending on the type of project you are building, you can use any one or more of these MQ series of sensors. Let us now understand the key components of a typical MQ series sensor and learn how it detects gases. The MQ series sensor typically has four pins. The VCC and GND pins provide power supply to the sensor. The A0 and D0 are analog and digital signal pins that provide indication about the presence or absence of a gas identified by the sensor. The sensor unit is enclosed within a clamp ring and a steel mesh known as anti-explosion network. Within the steel mesh is a sensing element that is heated to make it sensitive to gas molecules that enter the mesh from outside the sensor. When a gas reacts with the sensing element, its resistance changes, causing a change in the current flow through the sensor. This change in current flow is used to detect the presence of the gas. MQ series of gas sensors are widely used in safety systems, environmental monitoring and industrial applications. Let us explore a few of these applications now. Gas sensors are typically used in industries to monitor and provide alerts regarding gas emission or gas leakage in industrial equipment, plants, infrastructure or pipelines. This helps in avoiding hazardous gases from leaking into the atmosphere or causing health issues to the working staff. Gas sensors are also used by law enforcement personnel such as police to identify drivers driving under the influence of alcohol. Gas emissions or gas leakage is typically measured using fixed or handheld gas detection, monitoring and metering devices. Here are a few applications of gas sensors that you can readily build and put them to practical use at your home. For example, you can build a gas detector unit that uses MQ2 or MQ6 sensor and install it in your kitchen. The unit can detect leakage of liquefied petroleum gas or LPG from the stove, pipe or cylinder and provide audible and visual alerts to your family about the danger of gas leakage. Similarly, you can build an air quality monitoring unit to detect carbon monoxide and smoke using MQ-135 sensor, ozone gas and nitrogen dioxide using MQ-131 sensor, methane using MQ-4 sensor. This unit can help determine whether you are breathing clean air or not. Likewise, using one or more MQ series of gas sensors, you can build a portable device that can be used to determine whether your car's emission from the exhaust pipe is within permissible limits or not. Do you wish to build your own application using MQ series of sensors? If yes, 
Determine the type of application you wish to build and the gas it has to detect. Pick up a suitable MQ series sensor in your ATL that can detect the desired gas and build an Arduino circuit. Here, we will illustrate how to build a circuit involving MQ to gas sensor and Arduino Uno. The MQ to gas sensor can detect butane gas. A similar approach can be employed for other MQ series sensors. Connect the VCC pin and GND pin of MQ to sensor to the 5V pin and GND pin of Arduino board. Then connect the A0 pin of MQ to sensor to the A0 pin of Arduino Uno. Finally, connect an LED between pins 13 and GND pins of Arduino Uno. Make sure the anode pin of the LED is connected to pin 13 and cathode pin is connected to the GND pin. Next, write an Arduino code that can turn on the LED when butane gas is detected by the MQ2 sensor. Scan this QR code to download the Arduino sketch for MQ2 gas sensor circuit and upload it to the Arduino board. Get a gas lighter such as the one shown here and turn on its knob so that a flame comes on. Then, use your mouth to blow off the flame, keeping the knob pressed. Bring the gas lighter close to the MQ2 sensor. The gas lighter releases butane gas into the air. Let the MQ2 sensor absorb the gas for a few seconds and then release the knob of the lighter so that it turns off the gas emission. The MQ2 sensor detects the presence of butane in the air and informs Arduino through the A0 pin. The Arduino code then turns on the LED indicating the presence of butane gas. After a little while, when the gas molecules have dispersed, the MQ2 sensor will not be able to detect the butane gas. This turns off the LED. Make sure to do this experiment under adult supervision as it involves releasing gas and creating a flame. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.